right, Donald Trump surging in the polls. The left, they're starting to panic. The liberal group, Citizens for Responsible and Ethics, Responsibility and Ethics, filed a lawsuit today in a desperate attempt to block Trump from appearing on the primary ballot in Colorado, claiming, of course, that he supported the insurrection. He hasn't even been charged with that and therefore should be constitutionally barred from running for office. Okay, here to react to that. And by the way, I finally got my copy of the brand new book. I call him the great one. Mark Levin, The Democratic Party Hates America. We will have the first interview with Mark on radio and TV. I'm looking forward to it. He also hosts the successful top-rated show on the weekend, Life, Liberty, Levin. Great one. How are me? Thank me. How are you? I am great. I am great. Wonderful audience here. Let me jump right in. First of all, Sean, on this indictment, the ruse is obvious. I think you're close to it, which is... Indict him on the gun charge. He may actually get off with this diversion, but get off or not, it's the one charge they can bring that if they have a trial, they won't bring in Papa Bear. If he's indicted on a tax issue, if he's indicted on Farah, you could bring Biden in as a co-conspirator. You can bring him in in other ways. You can open up an entire line of questioning involving Joe Biden. On the gun matter, it's very narrow. It's very compartmentalized, so it does not affect Joe Biden directly. So that's the ruse that's taking place here. That's number one. Now, on this 14th Amendment, you have to be the dumbest moron on the face of the earth to be proposing this. I, you know, you got two knucklehead professors who took 125 pages to tell us that something's in this section that's not in the section. You got a washed-up federal judge here who hates Trump going on TV, doing the same thing. You've got these these Democrats, who I thought they hated the Constitution because it was written by white supremacists and so forth and so on, but then they cite the Constitution. Let's dig into this. Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. Anybody who can find the word president other than president electors, I will give you $1,000. No, I'll give you $10,000. It's not in there. They mention senators, congressmen, governors, state legislators, state judges, civilians, military personnel, President, vice president, electors. But somehow the most powerful person in the country is left out of that list. Well, he must have been included in this phrase and an officer of the United States. Now, what they meant by an officer of the United States was some county commissioner in South Carolina. They didn't mean the president of the United States. Now, do you think a Congress after the Civil War believed in states' rights where they actually thought one state or a handful of states whether they're legislatures or a secretary of state or an attorney general of that state, would have the power to deny a presidential candidate a ballot position? Can you imagine when they were attacking these states, we still had military occupation in several of these states, that they would give that kind of authority? They never gave that kind of authority. How do we know? Because there's nothing that says they did. So we have these phony originalists who are now activists. We have these activists who are always phony activists who are saying that that's what was meant. Now, what do we mean by insurrection or sedition? Well, we know what they meant when they passed the 14th Amendment and ratified it in 1868. You know what they meant, Sean? The Civil War. That's what they meant. Anyone who engaged in, participated in, gave aid and comfort to the Civil War. They were the ones who were banned from holding public office. They didn't mean for this to apply after the last Confederate died. There's no evidence that they did. And of course they didn't. So what do we mean today by insurrection or sedition? It doesn't matter. Donald Trump's not been charged by, for insurrection or sedition. And you know why he's not been charged, America? Because two days before January 6th, when this so-called insurrection took place, he offered 10,000 military personnel to defend the Capitol building and defend the members of Congress on January 6th. He was turned down by the Democrat speaker and the Democrat mayor. Can you imagine bringing that charge against Trump? I would love that case. I'd go in court and I'd say to the jury, let me get this straight. He's the only one who offered 10,000 men armed in military equipment and gear to surround that building to protect them on January 6th he was turned down by the Democrats. Well, that's a hell of a way to run an insurrection, don't you think? Let's see. So he authorized the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers 
to have an insurrection? They have no evidence of that. They have no evidence of anything because it doesn't make any sense. That's one of the reasons. Now, there's a way to remove a president. You impeach him. You have to convict him in the Senate. They tried this. The second impeachment was about January 6th, and they impeached him. They impeached him without a hearing. They impeached him without due process. They impeached him without him providing any evidence. It was a perfect Stalinist trial, except it was even faster than Stalin. Stalin at least gave him 48 hours or 72 hours before they popped the top of the head off the guy. Here, they did it right away. Then they held a rump trial in the Senate, and they didn't even come close to the supermajority votes they needed to convict Donald Trump. So if anything, under our constitutional system, Donald Trump was adjudicated not guilty of an insurrection and a sedition by the one body that took it up, the United States Senate under our constitutional system. It is scoundrels, it is saboteurs, dressed up as tenured law professors, as former federal judges, these radical left-wing Democrat groups. They're bringing these lawsuits. You know why? They want to disenfranchise 70, 75 million Americans, mostly Republicans. They don't believe in the Constitution. They don't believe in the voting system. They want to destroy the Electoral College. We're on to them. Now, the question is if the judiciary has any integrity left, any integrity left, will they not only turn this down, but will they hold any lawyer who brings this kind of case into court, will they sanction them or send them to the bar to be disbarred? That's it. I'm done. <laughs> That's why we call him the great one. Democratic Party hates America. Out. We'll have the first interview with Mark. Mark, thank you. Life, Liberty, Levin. Sunday nights, 8 p.m. Hope you'll join him. Don't miss it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.